Welcome to the Extreme Broadband Engineering Product Installation Training on the DL 8 Output Data Plus Amplifier. In this video, we'll show what's included in the DL Amplifier package, explain the features of the DL 8 Output Data Plus Amplifier, look at DC powering options, and show the mounting options. Let's look at what's included in the DL8 Output Data Plus Amplifier package. The DL Data Plus Amplifier, optional mounting screws if not using quick mounting, installation instructions for quick reference during installation, two service loss tags to identify cables carrying power, and a 15 volt DC power pack. Let's take a look at the port layout for the IPA1008DL-RSVF Data Plus Amplifier. The D stands for data port and the L for local powering. We call these amplifiers our DL series amplifiers. As with all of our splitters and Data Plus amplifiers, the input port is located in the top left. And the passive VOIP modem port is located on the lower left. The passive port is identified by a blue port color and a blue label, making installation easy and standardized. EMTAs and modems would be connected to this port. Since it is a passive port, it would not lose service if there was a power interruption to the amplifier. There's a dedicated local powering port, a LED power indicator, which is a visible indicator that the unit has DC power, and there are eight amplified forward and return unity gain ports. Each amplifier has a unique bonding block system and two quick mount tabs for quick installation and servicing. The DL8 output amplifier comes with a side label for easy port identification when mounted horizontally and a second green LED power indicator which is a visible indicator that the unit has DC power. The DL8 output amplifier integrates three devices into one compact housing. By eliminating three separate devices, it reduces jumpers needed and makes for a cleaner installation with less potential failure points. The first internal device is a two-way splitter, which loses 4 dB. One leg feeds directly to the VOIP modem port. This port will be connected to the phone or modem service. This is a passive port, and any power loss to the amplifier would not cause interruption to these services. The second leg of the two-way is connected directly to a 15 dB gain amplifier for the forward and reverse. The output of the amplifier feeds the output eight-way splitter which loses 11 dB. We call this amplifier a 0 dB gain device since it has 15 dB of passive loss and 15 dB of gain. The amplifier can be powered directly using the local power port or remotely through either the VOIP modem port or RF output number 1. Let's take a look at the flexible powering options of the DL8 output amplifier. The DL8 output data plus amplifier has very flexible powering options to meet any powering scenario. The first option is through the local powering port. Local powering allows the amplifier to be powered from any convenient AC outlet by using a dedicated coaxial cable between the power transformer and the amplifier's local power port. Plug the power pack into the AC outlet and DC flows to the amplifier. The power pack and the amplifier each have a green LED indicating that DC is present. There are two options for remote powering either through the VOIP modem port or RF output number one. These options require the use of a power inserter 
along with the DC power pack. The power inserter is not included with the amplifier package, so you will need to have one available. Remote powering is the ability to power the amplifier from any location where there's a cable and electrical outlet close together. Typically, this can be any location where cable outlets are located as the end consumer device needs power to work. With remote powering, DC flows on the same coaxial cable as the RF. You can power from the VOIP or modem location through the passive VOIP modem port or any other cable location through RF output number one. For more detailed information on configuring the remote powering option, see our video, DL Data Plus Amplifier Remote Powering, on our website under the training category. Let's now look at the flexible mounting options. The TrueFlex tabs provide the ability to mount the DL series amplifier either vertically, horizontally, or quick mount providing true flexibility in mounting options. Using the included screws, the amplifier could be mounted vertically or horizontally. When using the Infinity Premise Enclosure with the quick mount rails and the TrueFlex tabs with the quick mount groove, the DL series amplifier can be mounted and secured without the use of screws. Angle the top of the TrueFlex tab into the quick mount rail, push down, and snap, it's mounted. Quick mount, along with cable retention slots, provides time savings when installing and also easy access to the connectors when performing upgrades or servicing. For more information on the enclosures, see our video, Infinity Premise Enclosures, on our website under the training category. The unique bonding block system provides a secure bonding connection without causing damage to the conductor. Let's review what we've learned in this training on the DL8 output data plus amplifier. We showed what's included in the box with the amplifier, explained the features of the DL8 output data plus amplifier, looked at the DC powering options, and showed the flexible mounting options. Thank you for viewing this product installation training on the DL8 output data plus amplifier. For additional training topics, see our website at www.extreme-broadband.com.